while I was walking down this street towards the hospital, I did pass a new coffee shop, one that I had never seen before. It's very small, hardly has any seating, but it did have one seat outside. So in the spirit of trying new places, maybe I'll have my uh, coffee there. And there's the place uh, that I was talking about. Brand new, I think. I've certainly never seen it before. And it's, it's right beside the uh, Krua uh, restaurant over there with the uh, Canadian theme, Krua, with the uh, Canadian flags out front. I've never uh, featured the Krua in a video, but I've had lunch there a couple of times. Really good food. Really nice portions, too, for a Canadian. So I could sit there and have a cold drink, but I think I will try this coffee shop. Look at that. So here's the outdoor table. Oh, there's two of them. I like the idea of being outside because then I don't bother people if I'm talking and uh, there won't be any music playing. But oh, here's the, uh, the sign for this place. It's in Thai. Oh, I don't know the name. Uh, namaste. Namaste. Ah, Indian theme. The owner just greeted me with Namaste. Look at this. Much more going on here than I realized. Got a really nice uh, uh, bench. Not bench. What am I looking for? Counter. Counter seating there with some nice uh, chairs. And uh, yeah, some uh, nice tables inside as well. So there's a lot more uh, going on in here. Oh, the, the name of this place is Namaste? Namaste Coffee. Namaste yes. Coffee. Namaste Indian, Indians. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a uh, hello. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, we, we, we like the Indian style and we also have the chai, kalam chai. Okay. The chai tea, you know? Chai. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next cool. time you can try. Well, I'll try today. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will have, I'll sit down in a minute. Oh, yeah. And then, then I will order. Yeah, yeah. You make iced coffee yeah. as well? Yeah. yeah. Iced coffee because... Uh, it's so hot. so hot. Yeah. Only Thailand have iced coffee. <laughs> yeah, okay. And in the, in the sign in Thai, does it say Namaste in Thai? Yeah. And in Thai language. Okay. Yeah, oh. Thai language. Because the first, the first, uh, last, uh, maybe last two or three months, we are open another place oh. and uh, we are correct name that this 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 name is cannot contact to Thai people because Thai is Thai Thai language is, is uh, better. Okay. So I change to Thai language. Uh, okay. Do you mind if I make some video about the inside? Yeah yeah yeah. Most welcome, right. most welcome. Okay. As you like as how long as you like, yeah. I was just having a chat with uh, one of the owners of this new coffee shop, and it is brand new. Um, as I said, I walk up and down this street all the time, and I would have noticed it before, so it's been open a very short time. And the name of it is uh, Namaste Coffee. So the sign out front, it says in the Thai language, uh, Namaste. And as you can see, it has an Indian theme throughout and they make all your smoothies and iced coffees as well as uh, Indian style uh, chai and uh, the man I was talking to he runs this place with his, uh, with his brother they were located I think in a different part of Mesot and then they moved here he spent a number of years uh, in India studying uh, yoga and uh, if he gets a chance he might be running uh, yoga classes here in Mesod as well. So there's all kinds of ideas. And I see right in front of me, there's even uh, pizza. So oh, there's some uh, pizza for sale. And that might be a good thing to combine uh, with my coffee here. Said, this is a very nice surprise for my uh, day here in Mesot.
much more uh, developed a little uh, coffee shop than I expected. So there are a whole bunch of uh, iced coffees and drinks that you can get here. And the seating on the inside, as I pointed out, as well as a nice counter here. It's nice to be able to go that far inside and then you get away from the noise of the uh, traffic outside if it is a busy day. There's the menu on the wall. You want to try some chai? Yeah, yes please. And here is the uh, seating outside. And just before I sit down, let's get a nice shot of the uh, whole exterior and there's the uh, the sign namaste as I said I definitely would have noticed it because this shop to the left that's where I go to get all of my uh, photocopies when I go to immigration whenever I need to print anything out or make copies this is where I go and then there's a Krua restaurant right there and then right beside it the brand new namaste uh, coffee shop the owner is making a, a hot cup of chai for me right now, so we're going to start off with their uh, specialty drink, and then I'll move on to something cold and uh, refreshing, and maybe pizza. I'm still using my uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and uh, yeah, I think it looks absolutely great, but I'm further away from me now, so I don't know how much audio it's picking up, but very exciting. I have a large cup of uh, classic traditional Indian chai. That is nice. When he brought it out to me, he said that he didn't add any uh, sugar. Um, and if I wanted to add sugar, he would bring some for me. But this is unsweetened and has a very nice uh, spicing. Uh, anyone who's had chai knows. such a fantastic uh, drink. You know, it's a tea, of course, but it's not just a flat tea. It has a special spicing that makes it a chai, of course. And this takes me back to my very first uh, trip overseas. Was at a, you know, after one year of university, I went to India on an exchange program. And of course, this was a long time ago. And uh, after a trip to India, you never quite forget uh, chai especially if you travel around by train at all and you hear the calls, you know, for chai, 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 the chai sellers and they bring it up to the train windows in uh, clay cups and then it just tastes so amazing and people toss the clay cups out the window and they break on the stone. It's just such a uh, classic scene from India and it uh, takes me back to that. That is nice. That is really, really nice. Hey, how's it going? Well, that is the end of my experience here at uh, Namaste Coffee. Um, highly recommended. Uh, delicious chai. I it did end up ordering a mango smoothie, which I'll put a picture of my mango smoothie in right here. Very tasty, very good. And uh, while I was sitting here, a friend of mine dropped by. I was sitting out here out front, and a friend of mine dropped by and joined me. So I put away my uh, cameras for the rest of my experience here at Namaste, so I don't have any video of me with the, uh, the mango smoothie. But I definitely plan on uh, coming back here again. It's very close to my guest house. They open at 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 till 4, I believe, every day. And... They're closed. They're open every day of the week except Monday. Mondays are closed. Every other uh, day they're open at nine to four. So yeah, here it is, uh, Namaste Coffee, and I think that will be the uh, end of today's small adventures here in Mesot. I did have a few other topics on my mind, all technology related, that I wanted to talk about. In particular, my new Samsung. Galaxy watch which I finally got up and running and I'm busy learning how to use it 
installing a whole bunch of useful applications on it. Pretty amazing piece of technology as well. And so I was going to talk about my Galaxy Watch in uh, this video as well. That's part of my technology update. But, um, yeah, kind of ran out of time. And now I've uh, run out of uh, energy for that. I'm going to dash across the road. I'm going to uh, head back to the uh, guest house, relax a little bit. And that is it for uh, today's video. And... Uh, this friend of mine that I met today at Namaste Coffee, he invited me out for lunch tomorrow and we are going to probably the most famous restaurant in all of Mesot, which believe it or not, I've never been to. I kept planning on going there, but I've never made it, but I finally have plans to go there. So hopefully the next video will be all about uh, a very special place here in Mesot, as I said, perhaps the most famous restaurant in the, in the city, maybe in this whole region, I'm not sure. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.